Hi there, in this short video we will learn about the output elasticity of transfer cost function. We have understood quite a bit about transfer cost function in our last video. Here it is another uh, important aspect of it and that is when we uh, find the output elasticity of the transfer cost function. The output elasticity of cost function is basically the percentage change in cost that gets caused due to the percentage change in output. So this is a formula that we can develop from this definition. This is the notation of it and this is how we can uh, write it in the logarithmic form. Here you can see delta natural log of c, delta natural log of q. So uh, now we can easily solve it by taking the natural logarithmic differentiation of the cost function with respect to q. Before we go ahead, just a reminder to subscribe if you haven't and to click the bell icon so that you continue receiving such videos that are there to find on YouTube. And you may also like it if you find it useful. So now the uh, logarithmic differentiation is uh, conducted with respect to uh, output. Here you can see the symbol of it and the operator is uh, introduced on the right hand side as well. The differentiation is quite easy that we have been doing before in the previous videos. And here you can see the terms that contain output only. They are entertained. And other terms like this term, that term, these two terms, and again these two terms, and this term. They are all removed or reduced to zero because they do not have Q in them. So these are the terms that have given them. They are four in number and we are going to solve them by using simple partial logarithmic differentiation. This term gets cancelled out. Here we have the application of power rule. Here we have differentiation and here we can see that the natural log of PK is brought out as a coefficient and in this case natural log of PL is brought out as a coefficient since q is the independent variable with respect to which we are differentiating. So the coefficients are also there. You can pause the video and see that how it has been done by using the simple rules of differentiation. Now this is the final result and this gives us the output elasticity of the translog cost function. That shows that how the output will affect the cost that is the translog cost function in percentage terms. You can see that it is dependent upon the three variables that is output, the price of labor and the price of capital. So this is how you can calculate the output elasticity of translog cost function. I hope you have learned from it. Do give it a thumbs up. Thank you.